Welcome back to Arkham Reactor, folks. <clears throat> we have... We're on the last four songs of the actual album now for See What's On The Inside by Asking Alexandra. And we're going to finish it. And then once we finish it, we're going to come back. Maybe we might do a recap rather at the end of the last song. Or I think what I could do as well is make another video and just kind of give the overall thoughts on the album. Few songs I have liked, few songs I have not particularly kind of, in a sense, agreed with. However, it's Asking Alexandra. At the end of the day, you know with Asking Alexandra what you're going to get. You're either going to get the old kind of style of metalcore, or nowadays you're going to get the kind of hard rock type of feel. Um, the last two songs that we done were kind of they were kind of hard hitting songs for Asking Alexandra, not ones that you'd hear often. Um, from a band like that, not really ones you hear in metal that often with, or hard rock kind of metal that often in a sense. But anyway, we've got the song, See What's On The Inside. Are you ready for it? Because I certainly am, it's about four and a half minutes, so we'll try and get a pause in there somewhere. So, let's just go for it. <laughs> Right, we're just going to pause it there and we will return back to, we'll go back maybe about 15, 20 seconds and catch the end of that. I've just got a few wee comments, right? I've got to say it. At the kind of start, it was kind of a little bit, I'd say, curious or more kind of expecting of this type of style. But I've got to admit something. It is actually growing on me. So, when it comes to hard rock um, or kind of the lighter side of metal, I usually tend to uh, listen to bands like um, Godsmack. Well, Godsmack are a wee bit of a metal. Um, see? All these kind of bands like Sh Shinedown. I've got to say Shinedown um, are probably one of my favourite bands when it comes to this kind of genre. 
And when I ask Alexandra, and I think Blackfield Brides are actually doing it as well. They're kind of dipping into the hard rock lighter side of metal. And when you're seeing this, some of this album, like you're hearing at the start, the, the verses are a lot calmer, um, a lot more kind of intimate, in a way, if you could say, um, with, with Danny and just a few delight instruments in the background. And then you're hitting the chorus. And it's getting, you're hearing Danny's raw vocals, you're hearing right after, usually, the, the chorus. Now you're hearing rather Ben um, doing that kind of, in a way, kind of string bending. I think that's what you could kind of call it. Um, it's just this kind of genre now is actually, once I'm into it and once I'm actually listening to it, you kind of think, what I, what I listen to on a daily basis is rather going to be symphonic metal or it's going to be kind of hard metal core or something like that, right? But in some in some days where I'm just all for hard rock, like um, Hailstorm in a way, um, or Shinedown, etc. Linkin Park, you could even say it was light metal, kind of hard rock. Um, it really doesn't really matter on the genre. It's just really what the music sounds like and what you can kind of make a connection to similar similar wise to something else and it's kind of in, in this kind of region it's one that i never thought would grow on me but the last few songs especially the last two definitely have um in a sense grown on me and this one as well camera um for the verses and a lot heavier when it comes to the chorus okay sometimes the difference when it comes to metalcore hard and growly in the verses and then most of the time you'll get a clean in the chorus. Like it's kind of reversed in a sense but it's something that I'm actually all for and this, this has actually been, this song here, see what's on the inside, it's actually right up, right up your street. Um, I really can't find anything wrong with it so far but we're just going to go back 15 seconds and listen to the end of that and finish the song. Let's go. Right, see what's on the inside. I've kind of got only got one comment. I'm going to keep this reaction quite short. Um, I really like the song actually, um, and that's kind of the main focus of this one. I thoroughly enjoyed that. It was, and it was sort of slow. It was fast. It had fantastic vocals. We even a wee spot of vocal from Ben, and sometimes. 
when I'm listening to Asking It As Andrea, sometimes I want actually more. Ben, it was the Black Album. Um, that was the cleans featured quite a lot more Ben than has happened per se with Danny. I know live when they do like um, alone in a room and under Denver. Um, if Danny's not singing, that it's, it's obviously going to be Ben. And Ben's vocals are kind of like the same with the guitar. The main guitar is from the band's Barry Tomorrow. Um, not sounding wise, but they're just that good on their own that they potentially could move forward and you've probably heard on Spotify on Ben's he's done somewhere uh, someone somewhere or uh, he's done that on his own and it just sounds good um I think this album is great it's good it's definitely going to be a, a bag of mixed opinions um not just from me but from other people as well they're really going to like some of it or they're going to maybe love it all or maybe or potentially not like it at all um, I think with this one, uh, with this album and, and a whole kind of the first album I've, I'm going to fully do on the channel, I'm keeping it as brutally honest as I can. And I've I've got to admit it, there's only been one song I haven't really liked, um, and that would be Never Gonna Learn. Um, but the other ones, like Faded Out, um, obviously, if I could raise it, Find Myself, Find Myself and You've Made It This Far were ones that I thoroughly enjoyed a lot slower in terms but definitely a lot more kind of punchy a lot more kind of personal um oh yeah for this one as well you would definitely hear james with his um um obviously the kick drum in there quite a bit as well obviously casting the cymbals you were hearing sam and you were in cameron as well obviously ben with his guitar solo and Danny's fantastic vocals in this one. I think this one is one of the better ones, I would say. I'm going to do one more today, and it's going to be Misery Love Company. Misery Loves Company, I think it is. And then we'll do maybe the other two at the beginning of next week, because um, I have to do the Trivium album as well. It's coming out. But for overall, um, see what's on the inside is particularly could be one of my favourites. I think the album overall um, is getting rather four out of five stars from like Louder Sound or Kerrang's giving it a three and the Wall of Sound is getting a 7.5. I'm more on the line so far. I've given it around about the 7.5 mark. Um, it just depends if the last three now kind of um, are. If they're better, obviously the overall will, will, will change. Um, but right now it's kind of sitting around about a six to a seven um and that's how i'm kind of seeing it so far but remember your opinion does matter as well so just leave it down in the comments what you think of the album what your niggles and what are your more kind of favorite things on the album and we'll see you for misery loves company <laughs>